And the Iowa State Fair is wrapping up their 10 days of fun tonight. Reporter Taj Simmons shows us how the last day went. The Blazing Saddle is the epitome of a safe space for Iowa's LGBT community. Owner Mongo Eichelberry hopes to also keep it safe from the Delta variant. I don't want to have your problem infect anybody. Starting this week, if you want to have a shot inside, you have to prove you received the recommended shots of the COVID-19 vaccine. Iowans will do the right thing. Well, then why do we have so many cases? Even with the requirement, the bar filled up Saturday afternoon, with some patrons saying they now feel eager to go back in the saddle. It's great to know that other people have taken the initiative to get vaccinated and that I can feel comfortable around other people and socialize. However, it is difficult to follow Blazing Saddle's lead due to a recent state law. Iowa legislature passed a vaccine passport condemnation in May. It disqualifies businesses and government entities from receiving state contracts or grants if they require customers to prove they're vaccinated. Governor Kim Reynolds rallied behind the bill before she signed it. It's a personal choice. But I strongly oppose vaccine passports, and I believe that we must take a stand as a state against them. Michael Berry says he is willing to risk the consequences because the LGBT community knows the dangers of a deadly virus all too well. I don't need any more dead friends. I went through the AIDS epidemic and I lost God knows how many. Blazing Saddle's next door neighbor, Buddy's Corral, will also start requiring proof of vaccination after this weekend. A sign the East Village is becoming the epicenter of Des Moines' push for vaccines. I'd rather have that than a tube down my throat and maybe die. Taj Simmons. And the Iowa State Fair wrapped up today. Attendance usually break records, but how did it do this year? Iowa's biggest event is still on track to hit 1 million visitors every day, except the second day. It's seen a drop in attendance compared to 2019. Day two had 104,177 attendees. 2019 had just 103,000. Every other day, though, saw a drop in comparison. We're still waiting for yesterday's fair numbers, but so far, more than 876,000 people have visited the fair.